Good day. My name is Tamar Pryor Brown, Senior Advisor of African Nova Scotian Affairs Integration Office. And on behalf of the Halifax Regional Municipality and the African Nova Scotian Affairs Integration Office team, I would like to welcome you all to our virtual flag raising event in celebration of African Heritage Month this February 1st, 2022. Please welcome Cheryl Kopeg Jihu. Indigenous Community Engagement Advisor with the, uh, with the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, ANSIO, for our land acknowledgement. Gwe, Nindo Hosen Cheryl Kopage Giu, Wedebexi Sipanagadi, Jalasi Jabukdu Mi'kma'ki. My name is Cheryl Kopage Giu, and I am the Indigenous Advisor with the Halifax Regional Municipality and also a Councillor for Sipanagadi First Nation. I would like to take this time to acknowledge that all of the events that are occurring for African Heritage Month are occurring on Mi'kma'ki, the traditional and ancestral lands of the Mi'kmaq Nation. It is important when we do land acknowledgements that we really reflect upon the reason why we're doing these. And we're doing this land acknowledgement for African Heritage Month to talk about our shared histories and our shared challenges and struggles as we have gone through. It is so important that we acknowledge our distinct communities here in Nova Scotia. And February is the time when we honor and we think and we reflect upon the teachings and the accomplishments and the struggles and the future of our African Nova Scotian population. So with that, I'd like to wish everyone a great opportunity to learn more about the African Nova Scotian culture and Namoltis Wolalio. Wolal and Cheryl, we are all treaty people. I would like to also acknowledge that people of African descent have been here for over 400 years and have been an indispensable part of Nova Scotians history, culture and heritage. We acknowledge the impact of our ancestors and that we continue to be lifted up on their shoulders. The flag raising event is an opportunity to bring our HRM communities together to celebrate African Heritage Month. This year's theme, Through Our Eyes, The Voices of African Nova Scotians, recognizes the long-standing history of people of African descent in the development of Canada. The theme explores and examines the effects of anti-Black racism and the voices of African Nova Scotians who blazed the trail for change. The theme also aligns with the United Nations International Decade for People of African Descent. And the goal of DPAD is to strengthen global cooperation in support of people of African descent to increase awareness in the passage towards presence in all aspects of society. The raising of the Pan-African flag is symbolic through the eyes of the experiences of African descent in Halifax Regional Municipality, because these experiences are integral to this entire municipality. The African flag consists of three equal horizontal bands, one red, one black, and one green. It was first adopted on August 13, 1920 by the Universal Negro Improvement Association, otherwise known as the UNIA, and the African Communities League under Article 39 of the Declaration of Rights of the Negro Peoples of the World. And sometimes the flag is referred to as the Afro-American flag, the, the Black Liberation flag, or the UNIA flag. The red in the flag represents the blood that unites all people of Black African ancestry that was and is shed for liberation. And the black represents people of Black heritage whose existence as a nation is affirmed by the existence of the flag. The green, that represents the abundant natural wealth of Africa. Now variations of the flag can and have been used in various countries and territories in Africa and the Americas to represent Pan-Africanist ideology. Organizations and movements have also embraced the flag's colors for their activities. And while the Pan-African flag is not an affirmed symbol for the African Nova Scotian community, nor for the communities of African descent in our region, it is nonetheless a globally recognized symbol of Pan-Africanism. Thus, it is befitting and symbolic to have this flag flown here at City Hall in acknowledgement of the contributions of African people to this region as we celebrate African Heritage Month. At this time, it is my great pleasure to welcome Rosella Frazier, Facilities Manager of the North Preston Community Center, 
who is a proud African Nova Scotian, as well as an almost 36-year HRM employee, as she tells us a story through her eyes on this flag raising day. As I approach the 36th year of my career with Municipal Recreation, I am honored to say congratulations on this, the 38th anniversary of celebrating African Heritage Month in Nova Scotia. I can still remember the early days of planning around the table at the North Branch Library as part of the Black History Month Association. I sat around the table collaborating with library staff, community members, neighboring agencies, sponsors, and elders. I recall the camaraderie and the creativity that went into planning each year, creating traditions that have branched out throughout the province. I worked out of the George Dixon Center at the time with a team of recreation staff that knew well the importance of celebrating Black history, of being involved and involving community. Each year was unique and special. Working alongside community me committee members, spending countless hours planning youth day activities and the gala event towards the end of the month. I still have calloused hands from cutting cardboard for activities and tying balloons for decoration. Such rich memories topped only by the lifelong friendships made. These friendships have laid the foundation for other generations to pick up the mantle and carry on. Over the years, I've been blessed to work in a number of diverse communities. Each community adding to the experience of my varied career, reiterating the importance of building relationships and trust. I'm honored to return to my home community of North Preston, the North Preston Community Center as Program and Facility Man Manager, to complete the circle of my career with the municipality. As we raise a flag today, let us remember the importance of working together of respecting and valuing each other. Positive change will come if we all do our part. Thank you. Thank you, Rosella, for that wonderful account through your eyes. Next, I would like to invite the Honorable Mayor Mike Savage to read the proclamation and then raise the flag in honor of African Heritage Month with a beautiful rendition of Lift Every Voice by local artist Keontae Beals. Hi, it's Mike Savage here with the proclamation for African Heritage Month, February 2022. Whereas the Halifax Regional Municipality is committed to celebrating the cultural heritage of all citizens, whereas February is recognized internationally as African Heritage Month, the time to recognize and salute the many contributions and the ongoing achievements of black people all over the world, whereas 2022 marks the 38th year the Black History Month Association has celebrated the achievements of African Nova Scotians, whereas this year's theme is Through Our Eyes, Telling Our Stories. The theme recognizes the long-standing history of people of African descent in the development of Canada. The theme explores and examines the effects of anti-black racism and the voice of African Nova Scotians who blazed the trail for change. Whereas the theme also aligns with the United Nations International Decade for People of African Descent, the goal of DPAD is to strengthen global cooperation in support of people of African descent, increase awareness, and passage toward presence in all aspects of society. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Mayor Mike Savage, on behalf of all of my colleagues on Halifax Regional Council, do hereby proclaim February as African Heritage Month in the Halifax Regional Municipality, dated in Halifax the first day of February, Mike Savage, Mayor. Very pleased to be here <coughs> to raise the flag. Um, I want to thank our folks who are work with the city in the African Nova Scotia Affairs Integration uh, Office, and I want to wish everybody a happy and meaningful African Heritage Month. We're going to raise the flag. Lift every voice and sing Till earth in heaven rings Rings with the harmonies Of liberty Let 
for attending the Halifax Regional Municipality virtual flag raising. Please enjoy the impactful sounds from the drummers from home that will take you into African Heritage Month. And please make sure to take in all the activities in your community. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 